Hello everyone, Roger here from Nisi Filters USA and in this video I'm going to run through the setup process for the new Nisi V7 100mm filter holder system. V7 is Nisi's newest 100mm filter holder system and it offers several new enhancements over the previous V6. Now, it still is made up of three primary components. The 82mm step up, uh, not the step up, 82mm main adapter ring, the CPL that attaches to the main adapter, and of course the filter holder itself. Out of the box, it includes three additional step up rings. 67, 72, and 77 millimeters. Now, I have a 77 millimeter threaded uh, lens, so I'm gonna grab my 77 to 82 step up ring and attach it to my lens first. The order in which you do this really does matter. You wanna avoid attaching the step up ring to your main adapter first and then threading both of them onto your lens. This is gonna cause them to over tighten and they're gonna get stuck together. Removing them is not impossible, but it is a hassle, so you want to avoid that. So take your step up ring, attach it to your lens first. Make sure that it's nice and tight, and then grab your uh, 82 millimeter main adapter ring. And then once it stops spinning, go ahead and give it one last turn, and then it's secure in place. Don't over tighten again, because the same thing's gonna happen. They're gonna get stuck together and removing it is a hassle. The new 82 millimeter main adapter ring features a threadless CPL design. So no longer do you have to deal with threads on a thin CPL, uh, cross threading it accidentally and just the hassle that comes with having to thread on anything. It has the new bayonet mount. It has these white markings on the uh, main adapter itself and on the CPL. What you want to do is line up those markings, hold the wheel that turns the CPL with your thumb, line up those white markings, and then turn clockwise, and the CPL is now firmly in place. A quick note about the new CPL is that we call it the True Color CPL. This is going to give you colors that are true to what your eyes see, so no longer will it warm your image. Um, it's going to give you the best foundation for editing and the best colors out on the market. The next thing is the uh, frame itself, the filter holder. The filter holder has been given a new locking mechanism that both mounts and dismounts the frame but also locks the rotation. So this pulls up allowing it to be attached to the main adapter and there's two little notches here that grab onto the lip of the main adapter. So you want to make sure that these two little notches uh, go under the lip of the main adapter and then pull up and then it sits in place. Now you can turn it however way you want and to lock it into place you turn that thumb screw and then it locks it into place. And so that's it. That's how you get the V7 installed onto your camera. Now once you're done it still includes the lens cap that protects your CPL and lens. So let's say you're done shooting and you want to go ahead and tear down. Rather than taking everything apart and putting it away, simply grab your lens cap and attach it. And then you can go ahead and store this in your camera bag knowing that your CPL is safe, won't get scratched or broken while it's stored. Allowing you to quickly remove it and reattach your main adapter for a quick and fast setup time. So now you're ready to take some killer long exposure shots.